Yeah. Yeah. To me, that's, you know, just a couple of those is worth saying, okay, right. Right. They'd okay. almost rather pay $40 more for four nights and, yeah. you know, $10 right. for each night for their kid to be in a hotel room with right. four other, three other. Well, know, and the right. other thing I think about is, like, my daughter has asthma, and, you know, she was staying at someone's house, and they didn't know the signs. Now, not necessarily I would always be with her on a trip, but I have so many parents, mothers, that come up to me and say, you know, when my daughter does this, uh, you know, or she has food allergies and right. she cannot get anywhere near some of these things. Right. And I, I just, I would be hesitant to trust people, mm -hmm. you know, with the health mm -hmm. of children because some of these things can be rather severe. Yeah. And yeah. an adult that doesn't know them may say, well, they just, you know, have yeah. a flushed face. Right, right. But it could be serious. Okay. Well, on that note, one of the things we always do on our, on our trips, and mm -hmm. I'm just an optimist because I'm just kind of coming on the scene, but. Sure. A nurse, always a certified nurse, always goes on our yeah, trips. Yeah, nurse or a doctor, we so, always have to. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's that's. that's the and you know thing. what? In the past, it hasn't been any big deal. And this year, it's like five or six people a day. I've got a rash. I've got a you know whatever. Mm -hmm. And so I'm, I'm again just reminded how important that is. So good. Yeah, that's a very good reminder. Um, good okay. what you're saying about the host families. Yeah. The opposite happened with us. We we kind of. Bell Choir that you all would know, and I'm not going to mention okay. the college collegiate bell choir came okay. to our church and the home state, the, the ringer got on the internet oh, at no. the home and it was not a good sign. Oh, yeah. I hadn't even thought about it from that direction. But so I, I would never invite them back because yeah. I actually went to the school and asked them to have, you know, at least contact the host family and apologize for the right. behavior. They never I'm did. So sorry. Yeah. I can't ever have them back yeah. because of that. Wow, yeah. wow. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think we're in agreement on, on that. <laughs> um, all right, uh, determine if you need fundraisers or if your fee and church budget will cover the trip. Um, we do two fundraisers and they work really well for us. Um, and so I'll just tell you what they are and then I'd love to hear what you guys do. Uh, the first weekend in December, we've already talked about how we do this carol sing and rain. We also have a holiday silent auction and it is everybody who goes on that trip makes either a baked item, a craft, they do lots of gift baskets. Anyway, the church, I mean, there's one guy who makes homemade apple pies every year and those can go for 75 bucks. You know, I mean, people, to, they bid, you know, mm -hmm. uh, and keep raising it. And uh, so that's worked really well for us. The other one is so easy and we do it in the spring. And we again go off of the M&M theme. We use the M&M candy tubes and it has a sticker on the outside that gives directions of what it is. But everybody who wants to contribute, which um, they get one of the tubes, they can eat the candy, right? they return it with either cash check or coins. And that's it. <laughs> you collect them and it really works well and it's very easy. Um, and makes a good amount of money as opposed to a car wash, you know. So, so you give away the two? We give away the, yes, yes, of candy. Yeah, they eat the candy and then they return it with the donation. Where do you get that? Sam's Costco, yeah. If you don't want to spend money on that, I was telling her earlier, I'm allowed three fundraisers for my kids just to go to Montreat. We raise money for that. Sure. And two two of them are very similar to that. Okay, good. But the first one is um, at Valentine's Day, we give out sweetheart envelopes. Don't you want to be our sweetheart? And I just buy those yucky gold looking envelopes and then I use die cuts, um, hearts, stickers, we'll put decorate. They decorate. The mm -hmm. kids and the adults, the energy, because it's an intergenerational group, they decorate the envelopes, and everybody gets to pick up their hand decorated envelope and bring it back the next week. With either we'll tell them, you know, your pocket change throughout the week or quiet mm -hmm. money. Mm -hmm. um, the same, and that Good. goes to the whole group. The second one is the same but different, and that is I've coined the phrase angel opes. And uh, congregation members can be a choir angels. Okay. And if you weren't a sweetheart, you can be an angel. That's what I always put. <laughs> um, 
And with the angelopes, if they want to choose one particular child to support, they put their name on the envelope and on the check. And so, you know, I, I, accounting wise, you have to, you know, keep track of those things. Otherwise, it goes to the whole group. This year, we had a family from my chancel choir who said, we got some extra money, they had $400, and they wanted it to give it to us, to the Montreat group, but they wanted it to work for us. So they said, we're willing to match any funds, and so we made it that it, they had to be checks that were matched. Mm -hmm. And that was so super yeah. for us. Yeah, matching. Um, That's because I, I was telling her, this year compared to the last two years, I got like $12 in cash and everything else was written in a check. Everything. Oh, wow. So when we were in Montreal, people were busy writing thank you cards to all of these Great. people because of course you have their addresses. Right. Um, and that, that worked um, really, really well Good. for us. Um, we have three. I don't know why my brain is just going blank. If you think of it, let's don't. Yeah. I realize we've got 10 minutes left, so I'm going to try to kind of rush through some stuff. Um, determine your transportation needs, you know, get bus quotes, rental fees, or whatever you need to do. And if you've got a bus driver, of course, you've got to make reservations for that person. Um, concert mission, site, contacts. Again, that youth queue directors group email list can be a huge help for that. Um, decide on your trip theme and begin to develop it. What we have done is we really take it off of the region of the country where we're going usually. Um, this one was to New Orleans and it was, uh, I think it was rebuilding on Hope or something like that. Um, and then this one was Atlanta, so Believing the Dream, we did it with Martin Luther King Jr. Um, this time we did, of course, the Growing Grace Like Trees by a River for San Antonio River Walk. So we usually pull something from that and then scripture to support it as well. One year, this one, Sharing the Road, um, that came from one of our songs. So that would be another way to do it, is choose one of your songs kind of as a thematic. And it was that servant song. Um, oh, I can't even think of it right now, but... Brother, sister, let me serve you, let me be as Christ to you, that one. Um, so that one came out of, of that particular one. Um, then you can begin to develop, you know, your t-shirt design, your um, poster design, program design, all of that. We have, you know, use people in your church who are graphic artists or whatever to, to get that stuff going. Decide on your repertoire to support the theme and order it investigate the you know city things that you want to do recreation sightseeing begin to develop your itinerary um i just found this last year from our bus driver this book it's called the next exit and in it has all the highways and every exit and the restaurants that are there it is fabulous did you already know about it i did not know about this there's existing there's a lot there's Okay. Really? Yeah. It's, on, it's on your awesome. service now, our iPhones. Great. Well, okay. If I only had one of those. Um, I don't have yeah, one. I don't know what he, yeah, I don't have one. Oh. But anyway, so if you didn't know about that, that's that's a great resource for knowing where to stop and all that. Um, yeah, decide on, on meal decisions. Because we do the host church, we do cook a lot of our meals, which also saves on some money stuff. Um, determine your attendance requirements for choir and youth events. Uh, for Can fundraising. I borrow yours all I can? <laughs> yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, secure concert sites by at least January. Get your T-shirt design. Secure photographer set that date. Uh, I gave you a reg. This is just a sample from this year. Our registration form, and you can just glance through it whenever. It's just got whatever you know stuff on it and how we do it. Um, plan a scouting trip. I don't know, how, do you do scouting trips? Those are invaluable. And I really had to sell it at the church where I am now. They were like, oh yeah, you need to go to New Orleans, sure, you know. 
but it makes, for those of you who know, it makes a huge difference in knowing where you're going, uh, finding grocery stores, you know, all of that kind of stuff. So all of that information's in there, make those plans. Um, I've got to where we fly. I used to drive so that I could know, you know, exactly where we were gonna stop and all that. And that's a great way to do it, but it takes a lot longer and you're even more wiped out. So I've gotten to where we just fly to the location, rent a car and check everything out. And then head back. Oh, I just have my accompanist and I went this year. Yeah. So, um, and it's, you know, it's not cheap to do that. I think I've spent, I don't know, between 800 and 1,000 to be able to do that, but money worth, worth very worthwhile. Um, okay, do do that. Because begin the trip booklet, uh, and I do have some extras from this year, just to give you another example of how you might do one. Go kind of look through it, but we are running out of, of time. Um, bus attendance board. Um, I don't know if you guys have a process. You probably do for you know when you get on, making sure everybody's on. Um, I love to hear them. Ours is it's a board that has like two rods, and then it has the clothespins on it. And on one side, it has the person's name on each side of it, and you flip it. One side's red for stop and the other side's green for go, and it means they're on the bus and you can leave. What else? What so else? that's just like on the, right at the first seat? Yep, and the first seat, and they flip it. We, we make ours count off. And okay. It's the same. Mine have a number and we count too. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, so yeah. the number, I, have, I give all the chaperones the list of the individual's number, yeah. and it's the same thing. We count. And, that and we try to make it fun, like, yeah. okay, all right, let's see how fast we can do this. Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. Good, good. One thing we did, we've done the last two years, which has been tremendous for us, and I see you kind of do this, and you might can give me some ideas, is uh, break them into family groups. Mm -hmm. And this year, because we had a large group, we just let each adult from the family group verify that their kids were getting on the bus. Oh, yeah, so they yeah. Counted them that would be a good way to do it. Because we couldn't, we couldn't count. The sure, sure. So do you use that system, I mean, our families, to do their chores and to yes. be responsible. Yes, and we, we do our names based on foods from the region. So, um, you know, it was red beans and rice when we were in, you know, that kind of stuff. This time it's pit barbecue, Dr. Pepper, you know, that stuff. So yeah, they do, um, and then you'll see on page eight, the group's jobs. So they, they have breakfast, lunch, dinner, vespers, and then we update our website every night that, you know, gives people at home what we've done that day kind of thing. Um, so yeah, and they rotate through through those things. Um, what else really in here? Okay, this really. We have two people with peanut allergies this time, for, and so you know you got that. So um, we had a listing of, of foods that kind of help them. Um, let's talk a little bit about uh, just traditions that you have. Um, like we do the prayer bracelets for our congregation, secret pals, you know, and secret pal reveal where you have, you know, you get little gifts all week and then you reveal who your secret pal is. We do a thing called warm fuzzies and it's, we must really like uh, closed bins, but it's just a, a closed line and then everybody puts their name on a closed pin and then you can write little notes and they, you know, through the week and then you go up and, and get it. We call it warm fuzzies. Another thing that we've, started doing is a rock paper scissors tournament on the bus every year on the way home we do that you know it's just silly fun um another thing we do on the bus is um kind of like the 20 questions but the aisle seat person you know moves and it's a different question each time and so you actually get to talk to everybody on the bus and um, that's kind of a fun way to do stuff um, you might do like award ceremonies at the end, giving an award to each person, some funny ones, and then some serious ones. How do you honor your graduating seniors? I'd like to know yeah. that. Oh, we do. <laughs> yeah, I was asking you, but um, we do a journal uh, that everybody, we pass through the bus and everybody, you know, signs, 
writes a little something to each of the seniors and then it's theirs. Um, then in, at Shreveport, it was a pillowcase and everybody yeah, signed it. Yes. Yeah, and took that uh, to college or whatever. Um, what other things do you do? Along well, with the pillowcase, we also um, say, I didn't have many seniors this year, but I had a lot this coming up. Right. Um, say two each night, we um, have a ceremony where we kind of dim the lights and everybody gets around the circle and the seniors in the front with their back to the crowd and you light a candle that represents the senior and that senior's life. I'm going to get teary out talking about yeah. that. Well, that's <laughs> this year. Yeah. Um, and they go around the room and they say something special about that senior. Oh, neat. And then when we're through, we all come together and we pray over that senior oh, um, and then give him or her the pillowcase. Oh, very so nice. And very nice. So yeah, yeah. But you do that over yeah. a couple of nights. We do. Otherwise, it, yes. yeah, it would take forever. You can only do like two a night because yeah. it's, cool. yeah. it's too long. Yeah. We, it the know. we do it on the trip. Yeah, the seniors know that it's going to happen. Yeah. My sons are, um, one is out of college and actually started his career, and the other one is in his second year of college. They still have their pillowcases. Oh, and these are great. boy, boy, boys, and they love uh, this part. That's wonderful. Pillowcases yeah. are great. We, we do. Yeah. We do um, crafts. In fact, this is one. This is what we did this year. Okay. My husband and I, up at, when we go to Montreat, they all get something, and we've done the pillowcases. Okay. And they love because, you know, everybody's yeah. signature is right. Kind of, yeah, that's neat. We also do a senior vespers. The last night, the seniors are in charge of it, and um, they, they do that. So that's kind of a big thing for them. Um, I know some people will like take all the seniors out to a restaurant, you know, kind of as a, a neat thing. I think yeah, but we, that's what we do. We have a super, super secret senior time where okay. the youth minister and I will take all the seniors. And it's just a secret thing, just the seniors. Oh, that's and fun. Sack and we go hang out and do our own thing and we come back. And we do it that's because great. we're trying to hook the upperclassmen to stay. Sure. And so sure. once the seniors have gotten to do some Smart. secret cool thing, and it's right. awesome, right. we even make shirts just for that trip this year. Oh, that's great. Uh, then, you know, sophomores and juniors are like dying to be yeah. seniors yeah. and go on tour that's and be so a part cool. of it. Yeah. But we have communion with the seniors and they lead that and distribute it to the church, to the, to the group. And then we have a shared time telling them how, the, how God has impacted us through their lives. And, and then uh, we formulate a, a folder of notes from their family members and parents back home before the trip oh gosh, and then we nice. give it to the senior so we do a lot of you pro too. senior absolutely focus that's, that's really important for us to really keep them involved now are they able to tell the secret after you go or do uh, they I, keep we it? leave it up to them yeah uh, so far in the years we've done it i don't think any of them have told my family i think a couple family members know from the past years so, so fun. yeah, yeah that's it's fun. Something but what do you, think about what do, you do with them? Started, I mean, I started with my is this just year, the communion just that you're saying that you're doing with them? Or I invite them over in the summer, summer. We hang out and only the seniors, go to and they are included in, in the choir for the yeah. fall Energizer plays or something. Okay. I feed them. Yeah. We have just fellowship time, and we mm -hmm. sit down and do, what do you want to see? This is your year. This is your special time. And they appreciate it so much being a part. Yeah. We've done that too, and some of their ideas are, better are so that. much better. Right. I mean, I, I have one right. girl that was just an organizer, and yeah. I mean, she color coded everything. <laughs> Go for it. Yeah, exactly. And they, the kids take it so much better if it's coming from their mm -hmm. peers. Like, well, this is the way we're going to do it. One thing we do, mm -hmm. and I'd be curious to find out if anyone has any similar traditions. Um, we call it the morning show. Okay. And whenever we get on the bus in the morning, anything, but we move a lot. We change okay. churches sure. like, probably every day. But if anyone leaves anything and it's found, they have to do an embarrassing thing um, in front of everyone. <laughs> and it, has, it was something I inherited, but it tremendously cuts down on those seventh and eighth grade boys going. Well, I just forgot that underwear. Right, you know, right. Because they, it's going to be held up in front of everyone on the bus, and they're going to have to, like, you know, sing to the bus driver or just, I mean, it's all kinds That's of great. Great. idiots who would leave something just to do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. We do uh, senior scrapbooks, and so I keep stuff for the kids all throughout their career, and so we like a scrapbook. And now with EQ Book or Shutterfly, it's really mm -hmm. easy to drop stuff in. 
but and we have blank pages in the back that the underclassmen sign. Good. So they get to flip through the book and see what they've done. And it kind of is a little. Yeah, I have Absolutely. to ask when I hear this, how much time do you have to sit and do that? It literally takes um, no time at all to do that now because it's literally <laughs> click and drag into a pre done. I would not, I would not be mother. Oh, well, I was thinking the same thing about that. I thought, wow, wow, that takes a lot of time. This is, this is during <laughs> the week. They do their own. This is oh, why I, gotcha. I did this. I got gotcha. you. They do yeah. their own. My husband and I supply the blank I gotcha. thing and the blank mm -hmm. pillowcase. And then that's our group time. And we all come together, and they can do theirs however they want to. And by the end of the week, we make sure everybody, they're all fine. Get your juniors to put the books together yeah. for the yeah. seniors. Yeah, that and is another exactly. thing that you can do. I don't know how you feel about this. I have a Facebook page, and that is how I get so much information out. And all I have to do, what he's talking about, which we've done, I get on Facebook. They've all put their pictures on there. And all I gotta do is click and I send it off to Shutterfly and it creates the look. Yeah. It is that easy. Yeah. yeah. Just get somebody. Yeah. I recommend somebody, yeah, somebody technology, that can you know, help you with the it. The kids can show so you that it's what to yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm already spending thirty five hours a week right. at my job. Yeah. Facebook. I'm thinking find find yeah. a parent. Yeah. That's great. I do is really support them once in a while. Yeah, and that's the only way. Absolutely. Yeah, no. Oh my gosh, we've already got it. But I know, right? Was green? No, you can't do it. What is Shutterfly? I tell you what, let's pray before we head out. It's just been a delight to be with you all this week. And I, I just pray for, for a great, another year of great music. Thank you. Let's pray. So, because there might be something better out there, you know. And um, and I'm like, you know, we can't do anything else until we've got this figured out. You know, so... Um, but we, you know, complement each other and uh, both bring something to the table that the kids need and we each need. So um, what we do is I end up taking kind of the lead on administrative stuff. And that's just because of my gifts and who I am. Um, he does oversight of mission sites and I do, of course, concert sites. And um, that works really well for us. So I say that to say... I don't think it has to be any certain thing, just whatever, whoever of you is, you know, it's their thing, the details are their thing, because there certainly are a lot of them, as you know. Um, okay. If someone, if someone wants to start doing this, mm -hmm. and you want someone else to plan it, um, an organization called Team Effort will do all the planning for you, mm -hmm. everything. You're, they'll provide your meals, they'll give you work sites, um, they'll help locate places for you to sing. Mm -hmm. They're primarily the mission part, but mm -hmm. they'll work with the music as well. Mm -hmm. um, that might be an opp opportunity for someone I'm who's never done anything. Yeah. Team effort is, we, we actually, our spring break is team effort, and then the summer okay. is music and mission when yeah. we do the planning, but team effort at spring break um, does the planning. My kids went to Arizona this year, okay, and great. Then next year they're going to Puerto Rico for spring break. Wonderful, oh, that's great. I know there's a, I think there's some other organizations like there, like, there like are. Youth Works. Something. Yeah, there are and several. Yeah, so, yeah, search youth on, on that. Youth, youth on Mission is another one. Is that another one? Okay. So, oh, that's a great option. I hadn't even thought about adding that, so good. Thank you for saying that. Okay, I just kind of put a nuts and bolts kind of timeline out there. It's just to give you something to kind of hang your hat on if you've not done it before. Um, as we were saying, destination really has to be the first dis decision because if everything out, you can't do anything until you get that done. Um, I want us to talk about the lodging issue. I want to find out what you guys do. Um, there's hotels, which we just talked about increases the cost, but there's certainly some advantages to it. Uh, everybody has their own shower and, you know, um, uh, you get some separation for a little bit and you get breakfast served for you and all that kind of stuff. Um, homestays are the question. We cannot do homestays because of child protection policies. And my question is, how is it for the rest of you? Same. Same, okay. We did like the old days. Yeah, I know, and it was one of uh -huh. some of my best memories, so it's yeah. so sad, but. We did have some issues. Um, we can't because of the um, Methodist or some 
but um, we did have some issues in the past. Uh, okay. Some very strange okay. people, uh, like high school boys, um, you know, that were the family and girls staying there because they had a daughter, you know, so it was okay, but um, yeah, I, I would have decided even if the church hadn't told me because that. Yeah. Well. Yeah. 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 Well, somebody, it wasn't anybody in here asking me about homestays. We did. Okay. We, well, there's we somebody have, else. Uh, it's, it's, not, it's only like one night where we might need to do a homestay. Um, we did this past mission trip. Okay. And it works okay. We had one weird situation. Okay. But, All right. but your church allows it. Our church allows it. I mean, we're the Methodist church, too. I mean, I know yeah. there's that safe sanctuary. Yeah, I think you have to, whatever, you have to I don't know. Maybe we haven't considered that as part of safe sanctuaries. I, I don't know. But, I, I mean, yeah, that might be an issue. Um, our only weird thing was an 80-year-old woman with dementia who didn't tell the minister she had dementia oh, to no. four of Luckily, there were two adults and then two of the sixth graders. Okay. It could have been much worse, yeah. but she got lost in a hailstorm. So, so yeah, I am kind of going, hmm, yeah. after yeah. that. Yeah, definitely. Well, I found if, like, a college choir will come through every once in a while and they'll want homestays from my congregation, I found that I never just put it out to the congregation. I always ask, you know, individuals because of that. You know, you just don't know who's going to volunteer and then what do you do, you know? You want to make sure it's a safe, safe place. We found um, the best thing is... Um, the last two years, college dorms. We love the kids, love it, and I don't have to worry about. It's really not that much cheaper than a hotel. Yeah, I know. That's but I don't have to worry about those little girls thinking it'd be okay to leave the hotel room at mm -hmm. eleven o'clock. And you know, you can't right. necessarily put an adult with every right. No. Um, and so uh, that's okay. been that's uh, good. We've, we've enjoyed that. I don't know whether on that note. I know I. Took the high school band on a trip, and we basically told them we put tape on the outside of their doors. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you've done that or heard that. And if the tape was broken, they all were in trouble and were. Oh, really? And, and we had no issues. And, and we would put them in their rooms. They would be in their rooms before 11 o'clock, which, of course, you know, teenagers are still thinking. Like that takes across the door, it better not be broken. Yeah, and the other thing that always concerns me is, you know, a lot of hotels won't give you just like one wing, mm -hmm. right. and then you've got, exactly. you know, how do you explain to these kids? You can't be stomping around. You know, I mean, that gives you such a bad right. name when there's it other does. people. It does. But um, I'm sure we'll have to do it again another time. We've, I did it with the middle school choir um, in Dallas, Fort Worth area, and we were fortunate in that we were able to get, you know, the two rooms with the adjoining, and so we could have one adult, and so that worked out really well. If you can get that, that way you do have an adult in every room, basically. Um, but, yeah. But the adults so, in the hallways. Yeah, that's true. To. Okay. We need churches. Most of the time they sleep on the floor, but we have found, honestly, the cheapest and best, well, the cheapest is always going to be a church because it's free, but another opportunity, and this is what I was telling you while we decided North Carolina, you have United Methodist camps, you have um, Presbyterian camps, and they have lodges and centers, and as a matter of fact, we went to um, our area this time, we stayed at the United Methodist camp uh, in, on the Chesapeake Bay in Maryland. That's really interesting to me because we have fished in that pond several times mm -hmm. and because it's summer, they're always full. Mm -hmm. So how are you able to get around um, I will tell you this, and this may be the, the kicker here, okay. because I'm, we're in Georgia, we are out of school by the third week in May and we uh, leave immediately after school, uh, which means all the northern schools are still right. in school. So they're not. So, so that, nothing that is that going on. You, right. it's, it's just been great for us right. and it's been cheap. Oh, yeah, that would be ideal. So yeah, so if you can make that work, that's awesome. Yeah, I knew all the kids went away with a month left of school with us. When our, our school starts next week. Oh, okay, so you start in the summer. Yeah. Yes. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, we, we start the last week in June, first week in August, and then we're out the third week. Of course, 
Yeah. When did the Texas school start? Um, middle of August, yeah. typically. I was say, we're August 23rd, and we're starting August 16th, but last year we started August 9th. Okay. It's mm -hmm. So, that's Florida. Well, as I mentioned, we do the... We do the church stays, and it's interesting that you said it's free because the last three years we have not found it to be free. There is a, a facility usage fee, and it can be pretty, st I mean, okay, let's put this in perspective. Um, our budget is really small. I have $1,000 in my budget for this summer trip, and the youth ministry has $1,000. So, Everything else is fundraisers and then the registration fee. So, um, you know, money's an issue for us. It's, so it's expensive for us. It wouldn't be nearly what a hotel would be. But $8 a person a night when you've got 53 people, that's more than we can do. So what we've done is basically, like this year, I said, um, wow, you know, that's really more than our budget can, can allow. Can you tell us another church in the area who might be able to help us and so then they talked about it and came back and said you know how much can you do and I said we can do a thousand dollars and so that worked so um, anyway that's that's just been our experience the last three years because you have to find a place that the facility is big enough to to handle you and that has a separate kitchen and uh, most of them do not have more than like one shower that's the other challenge so we've done the ymca several years um this year the place we are has five showers wow. each for the guys and ladies that's fabulous um so anyway so that's what we do there is that like one night or several we're there we're, we're there the whole time oh at, at a church mm -hmm. Did, well i was I always felt like it was very difficult because what do you do for many we take care of mattresses. I mean, do they get a good rest? Yeah, to sing, it's not bad. To sing the next, I mean, full. I get a good bad. rest on an air mattress. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. I'm just thinking, you know, all of the room together and then the taxing time from all the next day of mission work and then singing. No, what I found is After one when, day you could do that. I don't think yeah. three in a row. Yeah, actually, I found that when they're all in one room together, they get a better night's sleep because I'm in there too. And so you're saying at 11 o'clock you got 30 minutes, at 11.15 you got 15 minutes, you know, and you count it down and then at 11.30 or whatever time you sit, it lights out. And, and I found that they sleep better, actually. I think that's true because, you because when you get into a college dorm room setting, you tell them lights out, but, but the girls will stay up talking till 3 a.m. Yeah. And they don't know when to say no because they're 13, 14, or even 16, or mm -hmm. they're just going at it. But if you have a situation where you lights out, everyone's quiet, yeah. mattress from 11 to 7 feels good. You know? Yeah. So. Yeah, it really does. It's, it's personal. And I'll just throw this out. I, I have never done a choir tour, I haven't been on a mission trip mm -hmm. in our church. The youth go on a mission trip. And goodness knows, if I were to touch it in any way, I would be worse than mud. Right. But I do know that they pack, the way they are instructed to pack is their air mattresses and their sheets are rolled together and they don't use the bathroom in the bus. Everything like that is stashed into the bathroom so it can be pulled out at night quickly. So I'm sure they cover all facilities so that you know hmm. but the bathroom is packed from floor to ceiling the bathroom on the bus on the bus i wouldn't think that would be big enough wow okay well it works so <laughs> works for them. okay just share that <laughs> yeah yeah well so. like i said we just do one side so they're all under under the bus and then they come off the one time that's also part of the reason we don't stop more than one place is because it's just a pain to yeah. set up again, you know? So, um, yeah, I think anyway. they only go to one place too. Okay, good. That's how, well, that they, works for them. That's yeah. really interesting. Okay. Good. Do you travel with risers? We do. Yeah. You travel with risers? We do. Logistically, do you have to pull a trailer or how do you do that? Because under a tour bus, 
I would probably eat up all of your room and no room to luggage, I would uh, think. We looked out. Um, we did take a van, though, too. We had the bus, and um, we had the largest tour bus. Luckily, um, Daniel's Charters is located in Gainesville, and they give us a great mix. Oh, good. So that helps. But um, we are we carry two risers. Um, no. So yeah, we did carry risers. Now y'all are a large breed, so it might, that might be more difficult, but it was great for us. And we only had to use them twice, all the other spaces. We didn't need them at all, mm -hmm. but there were a couple of situations where we did need risers. Can I tell you something else? <laughs> Can I tell you? I'm going to tell you. <laughs> the last two years, um, we used to take a van, which carried all of our handbell equipment and um, stands and all that, us to use, we borrowed where we've been. And it's wonderful to not have to lug that stuff. Bells uh, too. With us. Pardon me? Bells also, you borrowed. You borrowed the bells too? Yeah. I thought maybe just the tables. No, we've always in the past used tables wherever we were, but now the only thing we take are our mallets and our folders. So do you call ahead of time and say Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Like our host church, we used their bells, and then here we used fillers. So it's huge help, huge help. Oh, I thought you were going to say that. Um, okay. Well, I feel like I need to go back and visit this homestay thing a little bit more for this uh, Curtis Olson who asked me to ask you guys about this. Because he said they like to do homestays. They're looking at <laughs> trying to see if maybe they need to do like a background search or whatever on the host families. What are your thoughts about that? That's a lot of work. Yeah, it's a little I think invasive. I think if you trust your youth, I think if you, if you had 60 and you were going to put like four, I, I would say have no less than three or four, make sure you have one person in that group was responsible and you felt that you could trust mm -hmm. as a mini leader. Mm -hmm. um, you, know, you really look out in a situation where those two sixth graders had been four sixth graders yeah. and all followers in that group. Right. That would have been a really dangerous situation. Yeah. Right, right, absolutely. I think so. that's a big liability for the church to assume. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, well, well and even with the background check, things can happen yeah. within <clears throat> that time or just aren't even documented yet. I mean, it's, I don't know that I would take that risk. Mm -hmm. I've had um, parents tell me if you do home stays on my Yeah. 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 To me, that's, yeah. you know, just a couple of those is worth mm -hmm. saying. Right, right. They'd okay. almost rather pay forty dollars more for four nights and yeah, you know, ten dollars right. for each night for their kid to be in a hotel room with right. four other, three other. Well, know, and the right. other thing I think about is like my daughter has asthma, and you know, she was staying at someone's house and they didn't know the signs. Now, not necessarily I would always be with her on a trip, but I have so many parents, mothers that come up to me and say, you know, when my daughter does this. Uh, you know, or she has food allergies and right. she cannot get anywhere near some of these things. Right. And I, I just, I would be hesitant to trust people, mm -hmm. you know, with the health mm -hmm. of children because mm -hmm. some of these things can be rather severe. Yeah. And yeah. an adult that doesn't know them may say, well, they just, you know, have yeah. a flushed face. Right, right. But it could be serious. Okay. Well, on that note, one of the things we always do on our, on our trips, and mm -hmm. I'm just adopting this because I'm just kind of coming on the scene, but. Sure. A nurse always, a certified nurse always goes on our yeah, trips. Yeah, nurse or adopting, we so, always have to. Yeah, absolutely. That's, that's, that's and you know what? In the past, it hasn't been any big deal. And this year, it's like five or six people a day. I've got a rash. I've got a, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. And so I'm, I'm, again, just reminded how important that is. So good. Yeah, that's a very good reminder. Um, Put aside okay. what you're saying about the host families. Yeah. The opposite happened with us. We, we had a bell choir that you all would know. Okay. The college collegiate bell choir came okay. to our church and the home state the, the ringer got on the internet oh, at the no. home and it was not a good sign. Oh, yeah. I hadn't even thought about it from that direction. But so yeah. I, I will never invite them back because yeah. I actually went to the school and asked them to have you know, at least contact the host family and apologize for the right. behavior. They never I'm did. So sorry. Um, yeah. I can't ever have them back yeah. because of that. Sure. Wow. Yeah. Wow. 
Yeah. Okay, I think we're in agreement on, on that. <laughs> um, all right, uh, determine if you need fundraisers or if your fee and church budget will cover the trip. Um, we do two fundraisers and they work really well for us. Um, and so I'll just tell you what they are and then I'd love to hear what you guys do. Uh, the first weekend in December, we've already talked about how we do this carol, sing, and rain. We also have a holiday silent auction, and it is everybody who goes on that trip makes either a baked item, a craft, they do lots of gift baskets. Anyway, the church, I mean, there's one guy who makes homemade apple pies every year, and those can go for 75 bucks. You know, I mean, people, just, if they bid, you know, mm -hmm. uh, and keep raising it, and so that's worked really well for us. The other one is so easy, and we do it in the spring, and we again go off of the M&M theme. We use the M&M candy tubes, and it has a sticker on the outside that gives directions of what it is, but everybody who wants to contribute, which um, they get one of the tubes, they can eat the candy, they return it with either cash check or coins. And that's it. <laughs> you collect them and it really works well and it's very easy um, and makes a good amount of money as opposed to a car wash. You know, so, so you give away the two? We give away the, yes, yes, a candy. Yeah, they eat the candy and then they return it with the donation. Where do you get the Sam's Costco, yeah. If you don't want to spend money on that, I was telling her earlier, I'm allowed three fundraisers for my kids just to go to Montreat, we raise money for that. Sure. And two two of them are very similar to that. Okay, good. But the first one is um, at Valentine's Day, we give out sweetheart envelopes. Don't you want to be our sweetheart? And I just buy those yucky gold looking envelopes and then I use die cuts, um, hearts, stickers, we'll put decorate, mm -hmm. they decorate Mm -hmm. The kids and the adults, the energy, because it's an intergenerational group, they decorate the envelopes, and everybody gets to pick up their hand decorated envelope and bring it back the next week. With either we'll tell them, you know, your pocket change throughout the week or quiet mm -hmm. money. Mm -hmm. um, the same, and that Good. goes to the whole group. The second one is the same, but different, and that is I've coined the phrase angelopes, and. Uh, congregation members can be a choir angels okay. and if you weren't a sweetheart you can be an angel is what I always put <laughs> um, and with the angelopes if they want to choose one particular child to support they put their name on the envelope and on the check and so you know I, I accounting wise you have to you know keep track of those things otherwise it goes to the whole group this year we had a family from my chancel choir who said we got some extra money they had four hundred dollars and they wanted it to give it to us to the Montreat group but they wanted it to work for us so they said we're willing to match any funds and so we made it that it, they had to be checks that were matched mm -hmm. and that was so super yeah. for us yeah, imagine. Um, because I, I was telling her this year compared to the last two years, I got like $12 in cash and everything else was written in a check. Everything. Oh, wow. So when we were in Montreal, people were busy writing thank you cards to all of these Great. people because of course you have their addresses. Right. Um, and that, that worked um, really, really well Good. for us. Um, we have three. I don't know why my brain is just going blank. Um. If you think of it, let's don't. Yeah. I realize we've got 10 minutes left, so I'm going to try to kind of rush through some stuff. Um, determine your transportation needs, you know, get bus quotes, rental fees, or whatever you need to do. And if you've got a bus driver, of course, you've got to make reservations for that person. Um, concert mission site contacts again that youth Q directors group email list can be a huge help for that um, decide on your trip theme and begin to develop it what we have done is we really take it off of the region of the country where we're going usually um, 
this one was to New Orleans, and it was, uh, I think it was rebuilding on Hope or something like that. Um, and then this one was Atlanta, so Believe Me in the Dream, we did it Martin Luther King Jr. Um, this time we did, of course, the Growing in Grace Like Trees by a River for San Antonio River Walk. So we usually pull something from that and then scripture to support it as well. One year, this one, Sharing the Road, um, that came from one of our songs. So that would be another way to do it, is choose one of your songs kind of as a thematic. And it was that servant song. Um, oh, I can't even think of it right now, but. Brother, sister, let me serve you. Let me be as Christ to you. That one. Um, so that one came out of, of that particular one. Um, then you can begin to develop, you know, your t-shirt design, your um, poster design, program design, all of that. We have, you know, use people in your church who are graphic artists or whatever to, to get that stuff going. Decide on your repertoire to support the theme and order it. Investigate the, you know, city things that you want to do, recreation, sightseeing. Begin to develop your itinerary. Um, I just found this last year from our bus driver, this book, it's called The Next Exit, and in it has all the highways and every exit and the restaurants that are there. It is fabulous. Did you already know about it? I did not know about this there's existing. There's a lot for that. There's a lot. There's an app. Really? Yeah. It's on, it's on your awesome. website. Awesome. Our iPhones. Great. Well, okay. if I only had one of those. Um, I don't have yeah. one. I don't know what it's, yeah, I don't have one. Oh. But anyway, so if you didn't know about that, that's that's a great resource for knowing where to stop and all that. Um, yeah, decide on, on meal decisions. Because we do the host church, we do cook a lot of our meals, which also saves on some money stuff. Um, determine your attendance requirements for choir and youth events. Uh, Can I all yours all I can? <laughs> yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, secure concert sites by at least January. Get your t-shirt design. Secure photographer set that date. Uh, I gave you a, reg this is just a sample from this year, our registration form, and you can just glance through it whenever. It's just got whatever, you know, stuff on it and how we do it. Um, plan a scouting trip. I don't know, how, do you do scouting trips? Those are invaluable, and I really had to sell it at the church where I am now. They were like, oh yeah, you need to go to <laughs> New Orleans, sure, you know. But it makes, for those of you who know, it makes a huge difference in knowing where you're going, uh, finding grocery stores, you know, all of that kind of stuff. So all of that information's in there. Make those plans. Um, I've got to where we fly. I used to drive so that I could know, you know, exactly where we were going to stop and all that. And that's a great way to do it, but it takes a lot longer and you're even more wiped out. So I've gotten to where we just fly to the location, rent a car, and check everything out. And then head back. Oh, I just had my accompanist and I went this year. Yeah. So, um, and it's, you know, it's not cheap to do that. I think it's, I've spent, I don't know, between 800 and to be able to do that, but money worth, worth very worthwhile. Um, okay, do do that. Because begin the trip booklet, uh, and I do have some extras from this year, just to give you another example of how you might do one. board. Um, I don't know if you guys have a process. You probably do for, you know, when you get on making sure everybody's on. Um, I'd love to hear them. Ours is, it's a board that has like two rods and then it has the clothespins on it. And on one side, it has the person's name on each side of it. And you flip it, one side's red for stop and the other side's green for go and it means they're on the bus and you can leave. Look out, look so that's just like on the right at the first seat. Yeah, the first seat, and they flip it. We we make ours count off. Okay. That's the same. Mine have a number, and we count too. Okay. Um, okay. I send them a number. I have. I give all the chaperones the list of the individuals. Yeah. 
and it's the same thing. We can't, and that would we be try to make it fun, like, okay, all right, let's see how fast we can do this. Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Good, good. All right. Anybody else? One thing we did, we've done the last two years, which has been tremendous for us, and I see you kind of do this, and you might can give me some ideas, is uh, break them into family groups. Mm -hmm. And this year, because we had a large group, we just let each adult from the family group verify that their kids were getting on the bus. Oh, yeah, so they yeah. Counted along that would be a good way to do it. Because we couldn't, we couldn't count. The sure, sure. So did you use that system, I mean, our families to do their chores and to yes. be responsible? Yes, and we, we do our names based on foods from the region. So, um, you know, it was red beans and rice when we were in, you know, that kind of stuff. This time it's pit barbecue, Dr. Pepper, you know. So that stuff. So yeah, they do, um, and then you'll see on page eight, the group's jobs. So they, they have breakfast, lunch, dinner, vespers, and then we update our website every night that, you know, gives people at home what we've done that day kind of thing. Um, so yeah, and they rotate through through those things. Um, what else really in here? We have two people with peanut allergies this time, and so, you know, you got that, so um, we had a listing of, of foods that kind of help them. Um, let's talk a little bit about uh, just traditions that you have. Um, like, we do the prayer bracelets for our congregation, Secret Pals, you know, and Secret Pal Reveal, where you have, you know, you get little gifts all week, and then you reveal who your Secret Pal is. We do a thing called warm fuzzies, and it's we must really like uh, closed bins, but it's just a, a closed line, and then everybody puts their name on a closed pin, and then you can write little notes, and they, you know, through the week, and then you go up and, and get it. We call it warm fuzzies. Another thing that we've started doing is a rock paper scissors tournament on the bus. Every year on the way home, we do that. You know, it's just silly fun. Um, another thing we do on the bus is. Um, Kind of like the 20 questions, but the aisle seat person, you know, moves, and it's a different question each time, and so you actually get to talk to everybody on the bus, and um, that's kind of a fun way to do stuff. Um, you might do like award ceremonies at the end, giving an award to each person, some funny ones, and then some serious ones. How do you honor your graduating seniors? I'd like to know yeah, that. Oh, we do. <laughs> yeah, I was asking you, but. Um, we do a journal uh, that everybody, we pass through the bus and everybody, you know, songs, writes a little something to each of the seniors and then it's theirs. Um, then in, at Shreveport, it was a pillowcase and everybody yeah, signed it. Is. Yeah, and took that uh, to college or whatever. Um, what other things do you do? Along you with do? the pillowcase, we also um, say, I didn't have many seniors this year, but I had a lot this coming right. Um Say two each night. We um, have a ceremony where we kind of dim the lights and everybody gets around the circle and the senior is in the front with their back to the crowd and we light a candle that represents the senior and that senior's like, I'm gonna get teary out talking about yeah. that. <laughs> so this year. Yeah. Um, and they go around the room and they say something special about that senior. Oh, neat. And then when we're through, we all come together and we pray over that senior oh, um, and then give him or her the pillowcase. Oh, very so nice, very nice. Time. Yeah, yeah. But you do that over yeah. a couple of nights. We do. Otherwise, it, yes. yeah, it would take forever. You can only do like two a night because yeah. it's, cool. yeah. it's too long. Yeah. The seniors trip. know. We do it on the trip. Yeah, the seniors know that it's going to happen. Yeah. My sons are, um, one is out of college and actually started his career, and the other one is in his second year of college. They still have their pillowcases. Oh, and these are boy, boy, boys, and they love uh, this part. That's wonderful. Pillowcases yeah. are great. We, we do. Yeah. We do um, crafts. In fact, this is one. This is what we did this year. Okay. My husband and I, up at, when we go to Montreat, they all get something, and we've done the pillowcases. Okay. And they love because, you know, everybody's yeah. signature is right. Kind of, yeah, that's neat. We also do a senior Vespers. The last night, the seniors are in charge of it, and um, they, they do that. So that's kind of a big thing for them. Um, I know some people will like take all the seniors out to a restaurant, you know, kind of as a, a neat thing. I think, I think yeah, but we, that's what we do. We have a super, super secret senior time where the youth minister and I will take all the seniors. And it's just a secret thing, just the seniors. Oh, that's fun. And we go hang out and do our own thing. We come back, 
And we do it because we're trying to hook the upperclassmen to stay. Sure. And so sure. once the seniors have gotten to do some Smart. secret cool thing, and it's right. awesome, right. we even made shirts just for that trip this year. Oh, that's great. Uh, then, you know, sophomores and juniors are like dying to be yeah. seniors yeah. and go on tour that's and be so a part great. of it. Yeah. But we have communion with the seniors, and they lead that and distribute it to the church, to the, to the group. And then we have a shared time telling them how, the, how God has impacted us through their lives. And, and then uh, we formulate a, a folder of notes from their family members and parents back home before the trip, oh gosh, and then we nice. give it to the seniors. So we do a lot of pro-senior focus. That's, that's really important for us to really keep them involved. Now, are they able to tell the secret after you go, or do uh, they I, We can leave it up to them. Yeah. Uh, so far in the years we've done it, I don't think any of them have told like family. I think a couple family members know from the past years. That's so so, yeah. yeah, that's fine. So what do you think about what that? do you do with that? I mean, I started with my. Is this just, just the communion just that you're saying that you're doing with them, or I invite them over in the summer? We hang out and only the go to a special place. And they are included in the choir trips for the energizer parts or something. Okay, I feed them. We have just fellowship time, and we sit down and do, what do you want to see? This is your year. This is your special time. And they appreciate it so much. Oh, I bet. I bet. We've done that, too. And some of their ideas are, better are so that. much better. Right. I mean, I, I have one right. girl that was just an organizer, and yeah. I mean, she color-coded everything. <laughs> Go for it. Yeah, exactly. And they, the kids take it so much better if it's coming from their mm -hmm. peers. Like, well, this is the way we're going to do it. One thing we do, mm -hmm. and I'd be curious to find out if anyone has any similar traditions, um, we call it the morning show. Okay. And whenever we get on the bus in the morning, anything, but we move a lot. We change okay. churches sure. like, probably every mm -hmm. day. But if anyone leaves anything and it's found, they have to do an embarrassing thing <laughs> um, in front of everyone. Mm -hmm. And it, has, it was something I inherited, but it tremendously cuts down on those seventh and eighth grade boys going. Well, I just forgot that underwear. Right, you know, right. Because they, it's going to be held up in front of everyone on the bus, and they're going to have to, like, you know, sing to the bus driver or just, I, I mean, it's all kinds that's of things. Absolutely, it's idiots who would leave something just to do it. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. We do uh, senior scrapbooks, and so I keep stuff for the kids all throughout their career, and so we like a scrapbook. And now with EQ Book or Shutterfly, that's really mm -hmm. easy to that drop really stuff good. in. But, and we have blank pages in the back that the underclassmen sign. Good. So they get to flip through the book and see what they've done. And it kind of is a book. Yeah. I have Absolutely. to ask when I hear this, how much time do you have to sit and do that? It literally takes um, no time at all to do that now because it's Some literally click stuff. and drag into a pre done. I would not, I would not be mother. Oh, well, I was thinking the same thing about that. I thought, wow, wow, that takes a lot of time. This is, this is during the week. They do their own. This is oh, why I, got you. I did this. I got you. They do yeah. their own. My husband and I supply the blank I got thing you. and the blank mm -hmm. pillowcase. And then that's our group time. And we all come together, and they can do theirs however they want to. And by the end of the week, we make sure everybody's they're all fine. Get your juniors to put the books together yeah. for the yeah. seniors. Yeah, that and is another exactly. thing that you can do. That's, I don't know how you feel about this. I have a Facebook page, and that is how I get so much information out. And all I have to do, what he's talking about, which we've done, I get on Facebook. They've all put their pictures on there. And all I got to do is click, and I send it off to Shutterfly, and it creates the look. Yeah. It is that right. easy. Yeah. Just get somebody. Yeah. I recommend, somebody, yeah, somebody technology, you know, help you with it. The kids can show so you that it's what to yeah. 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 I mean, I, I'm already spending 35 hours a week right. at my job. Yeah. I think if you find yeah. a kind of yeah. parent, that's great. I did his race before he wants to help you. Yeah, that's the only way. Yeah, no. Oh my gosh, we've already got it. But I know, right? No, you can't do it. What is Shutterfly? I tell you what, let's pray before we head out. It's just been a delight to be with you all this week. And I, I just pray for, for a great another year of great music.